Hello everyone and welcome back to a short reviews video for November 2021. This is an almost monthly segment where I talk about those EPs and those albums of this month that I didn't really have that many things to add up or really talk about, so all of those are packed and being mentioned in this segment right here. Now this is probably gonna be a short video as there are not that many albums out of November that I have to talk about in this segment, so with all that being said, let's just jump straight into the video. I think that for the most part what we get with this brand new CU Space Cowboy album is more of the same in terms of just going into those metalcore directions with other core elements as well which is a type of sound that they've been going for with their latest releases. We basically get an album that is pretty standard for what it is. Now I still consider CU Space Cowboy to be a really good band at what it does, especially considering that it comes from a genre that I'm not really that much invested, I'm not really that much interested, so I still think that at the end of the day we get a pretty nice and decent album in the genre, but I definitely don't see it being one of those works that I ended up returning to. I think that it's just a pretty solid album for what it does, and that's pretty much all there really is to it. I ended up really enjoying the new Fat Neck album. It's basically more of the same. I mean, if you have heard some of the past material of Fat Neck, he basically goes into some really similar directions when it comes to a bit of a more dark and more aggressive sense of trap music, which actually makes, once again, for some really solid bangers that are quite addictive and are quite catchy. However, I think that once again, the production cannot be always that flattering. There are occasions where the mixing doesn't really sound all that good and it's basically another one-dimensional album even if it's like 28 minutes long and it's a pretty short album it still has a lot of material that just basically almost sound the same with the deliveries with the pitch and the whole atmosphere and the aesthetics and like I said, it's not necessarily that much of a bad thing by itself, it's a sketch a bit repetitive at times, but it still makes for some really enjoyable moments for the most part. I'm sorry, but unfortunately I didn't enjoy this album and I can't really get the enormous praise out of this. No, I get it, in a sense. This is a pretty important collaboration from two very big and influential artists in the scene coming together and making what I would say it's arguably their most serious and their most well put together work. It's actually the album that sounds the most mature in both cases and the production is also really good, like the sound of this album is definitely fascinating and for the most part we're basically getting some really smooth and chill tracks that for what they do they work really well. But at the end of the day I feel that this is a pretty standard album when it comes to like smooth soul and don't really offering something that other artists in the past have not done better. Now this is still a pretty nice execution to these old school sounds but I think that some of the more modern flares don't work with it that well especially when it comes to some of the lyrical themes that focus a bit more on present days and they feel extremely unfitting or also when you have those sensual portions with uh, whispery deliveries that in my opinion end up sounding much worse than what they would possibly had in mind and what they had intended. With all that being said though, I still think that it's an enjoyable album and it has some okay moments. However, I don't really see myself returning to this. I think that it's a bit sort of average for what it does and not really having that much great material to it even for its really short runtime. Idols return with what is possibly the most forgettable album from them. I mean I still think that it has some interesting and fascinating ideas to it. For example I like the combination with some of the more electronic portions, especially with some of the first tracks. However as the album goes and progresses it became easily boring, repetitive and one dimensional and not really having some of the best ideas that idols have done. At the end of the day it's an enjoyable album, I think it has some okay moments. But yeah, it's definitely one of those works from idols that even though I admire some of the risks that they took and that they went into a few different directions with some of the songs, Crawler doesn't really contain some of their most memorable material and doesn't really have what made the band so appealing in the first place. I 
honestly don't really know what's the point behind this brand new Clams Casino album. It's basically an extremely short album that only goes for like 19 minutes or something that has some soothing instrumental hip hop tracks that basically just sound like demos. Like I cannot believe that after all of this time this is the only thing that he has to offer. The beats for the most part don't sound good at all, most of the tracks are extremely short and feel unfinished and not really being that well polished or having even interesting ideas to them that I would like for them to see being expanded. For the most part it feels just like demo material, an album that is finished and basically at the end of the day just unnecessary. I don't really get the point behind this album, I don't think it sounds good and it definitely has some of the worst material I've heard from Clams Casino. Yep, I don't really get it at all. Well, it's that time of the year once again where we have another pop artist just going into a Christmas direction, a Christmas mood and obviously it's not really that good. I didn't expect much out of it and I basically got what I expected for the most part, a really bland and average Christmas EP that basically just has one original song, one that was made last year almost at the same time and wasn't really even received that well and the other songs are just basic covers and yeah, it's not really worth your time, like do not expect anything out of this, it's just your average Christmas EP that it's not worth your time. This collaboration for me had the potential to be even better than what it ended up being. Now, this album, in my opinion, contains three tracks that are pretty interesting in some occasions. However, they have elements to them that just drag on for too long and don't really have that much to them. The disappointing thing about the very first track is that it has almost the first half being this tape his for the most part and not really containing that much else so I was extremely disappointed however when it comes to the second half it's actually really engaging and containing some really imaginative and nice looks and I was like this is what I wanted this sounds extremely well done but it's basically something that took a while in order to get at this point and it's basically almost the same with the other two songs like Going Down starts really nicely as this drum piece that as the track progresses I think that it gets a bit more repetitive and not really containing some of its best ideas and not having that much of a great closer and also Secret Cuts has some really cool moments at the beginning but many lengthy portions that just drag on and are really uninteresting so yeah for me this is an album that it has some really good ideas I really like many parts about of this album however it also has other moments that are basically really forgettable so for me this is an album that had potential to be much better than what it ended up being but still it has its moments and it is a pretty interesting noise drone album and that's all I have for the short reviews of November 2021. What's your opinion in any of those albums or EPs? Like them, dislike them, why? And what do you want me to review next time? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.